The DJI Phantom 4 is one of the best drone in the world, but we have been sent this. Apparently, there's only four of these in the world right now, and we have one. DJI said that this can do everything a Phantom 4 could do. Now, I'm going to show this to Warren tomorrow, and he's not going to believe this. Hello, I'm here. Today we're flying a new DJI drone. Yes. Awesome. We're awesome. So where's the drone? Where's the drone? Yeah. It's here. It's your camera. But this is just a remote. What's, where's the drone? This is a drone. This, this is a drone. What, this? Yeah. This is a drone? Yeah. Yes, indeed. This is the DJI Mavic Pro. Half the weight of the Phantom 4 and almost half the size. Decent bulge. For a drone, this is as small as it gets. Obviously, there are other smaller, you know, yeah. off brand drones yeah. in the market, but they don't have nearly as much features as this. This is pretty much a Phantom 4 in a very small size, and it can fit. Drink. Yeah, it can fit almost anywhere as well. Like, well, I mean, not anywhere. Not anywhere you can't but fit it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I, mean, I yeah. wouldn't. Not up. You would try, yeah, but I wouldn't. But... I would. I wouldn't have thought. I mean, just for like a size reference compared to the remote, it's... The just... remote, this is a remote from Phantom 4. Okay, it is a little bit plasticky at some points. Like, you can sound how hollow it is like. Yeah, you can make a music. Exactly. DJI music. But I mean, that's all to reduce, reduce. the weight yeah. of the drone. And to be honest, when you've got the battery over it, relatively solid. So yeah, at this point, there's only four of these shipped out to anyone, any kind of press in the world. And we are one of them. So this is a first-hand exclusive look into the Mavic Pro. This is awesome. It's the smallest shit. And it flies very well, I think. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. So let's fly it. It yes. should be. What's new about this is that you can control it with your iPhone. Without this. <laughs> with just your iPhone or your Android, you can use your phone to connect and fully control the Mavic Pro without the DJI remote. So now we've got this. Let's give it a toss. I mean, let's give it a... Let's give it a test. Toss? <laughs> Let's give it a toss. Let's give it a test. This is the remote that it comes with. And it, it, <laughs> it actually reminds me a lot like a, like a Game Boy, like an NDS. So it's not like a Karma where the screen flips out. And like all the other DJI products, you have to connect it with your phone. So it has this little, um, this one comes with an iPhone jack. I think you can get one with a USB jack as well. You should be able to. And that's really handy because you can just click and go. If you don't have a phone, if your phone's not big enough or it doesn't fit, you can always use the USB port here. So let's go with an iPhone. Any iPhone will do. Well, look at that. It's an iPhone 7 Plus. Okay. Remotes on, connecting. Now time for the drone itself. Bam, bam. So press and hold. The drone is foul. Oh, twitching, twitching, twitching. Brilliant. Straight away. Ready to go. So it shoots in 4K, it shoots in DCI 4K as well, so 24 FPS. And oh, it's 24, that means we need to change it to PAL. So it has all the same, you know, features as the Phantom 4. It's got obstacle avoidance, it's got return to home, it's got active tracking and the intelligent, you know, track me, follow me, whatever crap it is. It still has it. It even has a really clever design in terms of build quality. You know, you don't need to spread them out. You don't need to spread its legs like someone who you've met on a Saturday night. You can just leave it there closed and it will automatically lock into position like this when it's in the air. We're ready to fly it. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it in 24, just for... All right, roll. Takes micro SD, just like the Phantom 4. Don't, don't, don't turn on it yet. Tell me when you want to. And I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> Turn it on now. All right, all right, oh, I'm ready. So am I, all right. Because the blades are smaller, there's not as much like wind or noise. Actually, it's a lot quieter than the uh, Phantom 4. I don't know if you noticed, it is a lot quieter, right? It's mm. a lot quieter. The other one is noisy, right? This one is a lot quieter. So, are you ready? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Look at that shit! That's amazing! Ah, uh, it looks like a roll kill. 
So it's not actually, it takes a little while to stop. Uh, when you go full speed ahead, the Phantom 4 is really quick and responsive to just like stop on the, mm. on the spot. This one I release and it takes a little while before yeah, it stops. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the blade, it's the, the motor is not as powerful. Right. That's the thing, probably. And the video quality is pretty darn good. It's a different camera to the Phantom 4, but it still manages to capture 4K in both DCI and UHD. Plus it has all the flat picture profiles that you would a Phantom 4, so you can get colors like this. I'm gonna fly it under the bridge like it. Yeah, do it, do it. Ooh. Wait a minute. Okay, got it. Oh. Oh, do it, Warren, do it. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, the other side. To the other side. Oh, it's really scary. It said something, it told me something that it was going to land or some shit. <laughs> it, it asks hey. you if you want to, when you're at a certain... Hello. 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 When you're at a certain level... Oh, it's, it's okay. When you're at a certain <laughs> level, it will ask you whether you want it to land. And it will say swipe to land. So you don't have to... Do it down oh. yourself and then turn it off. It actually, you just swipe it and it will land for you. That's why when I was so low, it asked me if I wanted to land. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Yes, Mr. I, this is our, this is Kai Man Wong. He's come back <laughs> from the future. Hello, Kai. Hello. 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 So now it is time for us to put these two bitches in sports mode. Yes. The thing is, it's just like Top Gear, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we got a more powerful one, and we got a light one. Yes. Which one will win in the drag race? That's a good question. I personally think this will have a lot faster acceleration, of course, because it's half the weight. Mm -hmm. But then top speed, powerful motor. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Five, four, six. Wait, I'm not. I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. Ah. Uh. Sorry. On. Um. Red red, like it goes run Now I'm I just position myself right above you. Yeah. And then we are surely at the same position, right? Now you you still stay there and then I go to my position. Yeah. Okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. I don't even see me. Shit, one button again. This, Three. This one. This yes. one. This one. Like. Okay. Three. Three. Two, one, go! Yes! Okay, I did fudge up a bit there. I mean, I was heading towards the trees. I panicked, I looked right, but you can clearly see that Locke is ahead of me by a little bit. However, one good thing about this test is that when they're both going full speed ahead, you will notice no blades sticking out from the Mavic footage even in sports mode. Noise. Well, I mean, it's still not bad though. It's still pretty quick. It wasn't by a huge margin, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Okay, back on topic. Now, looking at these standalone sample images of both drones, the Mavic is actually pretty good. But then if you crop in, you start to see the definitive advantage that the Phantom 4 has over the Mavic in terms of image quality. And the 4K video quality doesn't look any better when compared with the Phantom 4, especially when cropped in 100%. But to be honest, with a smaller sensor, it kind of makes sense. And overall, there's really not that much to complain over, seeing as it's half the size, half the weight, and almost half the price of the Phantom 4. The Mavic is just less hassle and definitely the best run and gun drone on the market right now. Hang on. It's more safe to, to put away, uh, hold my iPad in case it's fall off. Maybe I put it back into the box first. Uh, maybe not. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Time wasters. Even the battery life is pretty damn good. We tested out the Phantom 4 in similar conditions and that only lasted roughly 21 minutes as opposed to the Mavic Pro which lasted a good 26 minutes before it decided to conk out even with a smaller battery size. 
Despite the image quality being not quite on par, amazingly the Mavic Pro has managed to pack in all the advanced features of the Phantom 4 in this incredible size that makes it the perfect drone to travel around with. At $749 US dollars drone only, it's pretty damn hard to say no to what I think will be a real game changer for the drone industry.